to Motley Crue about their past problems and their present image. Here's a bunch of guys that tend to drive parents a little bit crazy. They're called Motley Crue, spelled C-R-U-E. And describing one of their shows, well, let's just leave it to them. Sleazy, fun, um, fun to watch. It's like a porno movie, you know? You can't take your eyes off it. <laughs> Motley Crue's current video is smoking in the boys' room, and it has some fun showing a teenage kid's prison camp view of going to school. But kids are rebellious by nature. That's why Motley Crue appeals to them. I think it's the fact that we are giving them everything. We're giving them show, you know, we're giving them sound, songs, something to look at, you know, and, and something to listen to. And we're, and we're taking both of, the, both of those elements to an extreme. Drummer Tommy Lee takes his role to the extreme by performing on a riser that tilts to the vertical during a show. Just another way the crew gets its thrills. But thrills have brought trouble as well. Lead singer Vince Neil recently pleaded guilty in a drunk driving manslaughter case, giving him a lesson learned the hard way. It, it makes you realize um, dangers in drinking and driving and that you have a responsibility to yourself and to other people when you get behind the wheel. And that's one message that we want to um, tell our fans about, you know, that, you know, if you do drink and, and if you do do drugs, you know, just don't get behind the wheel. Most parents, no doubt, would rather hear Motley Crue tell the kids to stay away from drinking and drugs altogether. But as we said, this is one group that tends to drive parents a little bit crazy. If you had a 14-year-old daughter, would you suggest she go to a concert and hang out backstage? No way. <laughs>